evening. Good evening. This is Daily Conversations with Sal. And uh, today's topic is on NASA and its former um, tracking station in Malagasy, Madagascar, Africa. Um, the topic came about during a conversation with another, with, with a friend uh, from that lived in Madagascar. It's uh, just to let you know, it's Monday, November 16th, 2020. And the reason why this topic came about um, was we started talking about the SpaceX NASA mission trip or the, the Dragon, SpaceX Dragon that went to dock with the International Space Station and brought four astronauts. And he was wondering why um, they don't have the original or the same type of design um, ship or sp that carried uh, astronauts to the up in space back in the 80s and um, of course with the new tech I told him the new technology has kind of changed and he was wondering what they did with the old space uh, shuttle like when it was used to be launched in Cape Canaveral um, and I don't know, I told them they probably sold the uh, scraps for materials and recycle. Um, I guess this has been a topic lately with SpaceX and more recently with today. And these are some of the videos. Um, you can click more if you're interested. You can watch them. Um, the launch of NASA's SpaceX crew. Um, and, uh... I'll do that as another topic. I'm curious on what the current spaceship looks like. Um, I've seen, I've been reading and watching about the one in Texas that they're building. I think it's going to be like a cool, huge rocket. But that'll be another topic. But today's topic is on the Madagascar station. And if you're wondering where it is located, um, I found this site. Uh, let's see, I think this one. Former NASA tracking station in Antananarivo, Madagascar. Hopefully, I pronounced it right. And uh, if you zoom out, this gives uh, an idea of where we are talking about from a global perspective. It's Madagascar is an island south east of the main continent of Africa and Madagascar is a pretty big island as you can see comp relative to Africa and uh, the islands it's pretty big it's anyways that gives you an idea where it is and the article um, does I guess it's not really an article, but former NASA's tracking station at Emerianus Josiska closed 1975. Main telemetry building is seen here, along with the antenna pad for the 40-foot dish nearly to the south. Um, and he was wondering why it closed down, and I read that. Um, it was due to uh, a lot of probably political reasons. I think the U.S.'s relationship with Madagascar got sour, according to this article. Um, and this video I found it in this article explains a little of it. 1963 was when I think when they started. read a previous website which I'll share earlier that they had these tracks tracking stations all over the world and I'll show you the list of places all over the Americans were allowed so they had about 148 Americans working at this facility in Madagascar which I never knew about so since 1975 to 1980, they slowly 
SL property in the U.S. Code. check that out on this link which I'll be sharing on my African album all right um, and this article in 1975 explains more about it in the New York Times you can read more about that um, what else did I find oh yeah the um, space track, spacecraft tracking data network. Um, they, this is something I found out. They had stations. You, I guess because of technology back then, when like satellites or aircrafts went around the Earth, they had to like beam the communication with, as it went around. So they had these stations all over the world. So from Greenbelt, Maryland. Australia then the one we just mentioned by Madagascar and I, th I think they relocated it from that city uh, location so and from Minnesota where I live East Grand Forks so that's where they have the US I believe the Air Force Base I think I know there's one in Minot, North Dakota I know there's some thing related to Grand Forks so you can read more about that all right and you can find the videos on this NASA tracking station too or Madagascar videos just by clicking on videos NASA's 1960 satellite station in Madagascar. So you can watch those videos for more information. So, with the present day, let's now focus on SpaceX, Elon Musk's company. That should be interesting. All right, I'm going to stop rambling on. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Feel free to do your own research and feel free to uh, comment down below on anything else that you know more about this information that I talked about. Till then, thanks for watching Daily Conversations with Sal, especially with this pandemic. You get deep into bigger topics, and I'll be posting these videos in my various YouTube channels. Take care. God bless. Have a good day.